Hello everyone, and welcome to week two of Saturday Night SASO Race. This week we're going to be doing season two. We're just waiting for some players to Seven have ready, ready up. up. And just while waiting for the race to start, we'll quickly give you an update quick. of the leaderboards. And yeah, so we have Chuck winning last week, season one. So that gave him eight points, just barely grabbing it from Danny. Danny getting five points as a result. Mu with four, Secret Tree, Yanini with two, and Alex with one. We're going to hop back over just to the first stream and I'll uh, introduce our co caster for this week. We have Joker J joining us to help along. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. At the moment, I think we're just waiting for a couple of players to... Oh no, we're actually about to get underway. We have three seconds left on the clock, all players have readied up. So we will see our players start to go in. Most players seem to be in sync anyway. We have some pretty fast beginnings, especially from Mu. Uh, we'll get some audio from one of the streams. We'll take it from Yanini's. Uh, well, not such a ton of running, but yeah. <laughs> Chuck with a early rip. Uh, you know, and I think that was your spotted trying to um, trank Orson. Oh wow. Well. Or you yeah. missed. So try, you know, you missed the chunk itself, actually. Um, so yeah, 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 in the other time we have seen a Seek Mu and Yanini um, get the kills. And then, yeah. of course, uh, use the Duck and... Watch. Oh, wow, another rip from Chuck. That's not good for our, <laughs> our number one player. Yeah, that gives everyone an early lead as well. Um, you know, <laughs> in, in races, you know, season two, we, we, were, we were talking about it a little bit beforehand. It is definitely, you know... Out of the three seasons, the hardest one, of course, we've been eight maps, you know, three of the big five are um, in this as well. So, you know, definitely time for Chuck to come back if he can play flawlessly uh, for the rest of the... Oh, and also thank you, Agent420, for the, the raid. Perfect timing. And we have three repairs going, moving on to Miami and Chuck restarting again. And while that's happening, we'll just quickly pop over and check our other four players that we have. So by the looks of it, Zionicle, Pappy and Danny are moving on to Miami. And also Alex. So it just seems like Chuck is the only person restarting on Hawks at the moment. Yeah, it's had some unfortunate rips. Uh, you know, missing the tranks and getting spotted tranking. Um, so very unfortunate on his end. Um, Danny Buta with... Quite a different money, you know. Of course, it was at the 20, 20 second one, and um, would be the more you know, Mesa Strat as I'd as I'd call it. But no, he's going for the size third one with the dolphin, got a dolphin start. Yeah, due to the fact um, this race is RTA, I actually think, if I'm not mistaken, this strat is actually faster due to the cutscene. That cutscene yeah, is yeah, quite yeah. lengthy, so it's yeah. nice to see all yeah, the players yeah. adapting. Um, Ooh, Danny nearly spotted Adam, he is spotted. That's very unfortunate, that man does cause many, many rips. See Alex going for a very unique strat, I haven't seen this one myself to be honest. Yeah, this is um, quite an oldie. Interesting indeed. Yeah, of course you can shoot the laps up front here. And Sierra just drive past as well, so you know, it does get the job done. Nice uh, shot. Danny with... Danny, we saw him So yeah, it seems like we got a restart from Zionical Pappy and Danny in that yeah. minute. Wow. We'll quickly pop back into our other four players. Wow, they're all very um <laughs> a minute or so ahead. We okay. have C, yeah. Kinini, and Moo. Moving on to Santa. Yeah, moves very far into a 
Santa already always get already getting the kill on Andrea Martinez and will be getting the kill on Luco as soon as I say. Um you know, I'll chuck loading into Miami as we speak as well. I say it does seem Mu we just seen the other four players, it does seem like Mu does have the lead. Um currently. Yeah, very nice lead from Mu. Yanini not far behind. Seek looking like he's about in second. Yanini going for the safer strat though, it seems, with the sniper. So we'll have a different ending for Jorge. Since he won't have that slot for the seeker. Chuck getting uh, who's spotted though. Oh wow. And Seek also giving a rip. That's very nice for Yanini. That does put Yanini into a very um, nice position, indeed. Of course. Being oh, um, Chuck seemingly has red guns as well in Miami. That's a restart as well. Not sure where that happened. Chuck just seemed to spot it late. Yeah, my one guess would be Robert Knox getting found or something along them lines. One of his guards, or his bodyguard, even. Um, that'd be my one guess to where he's from. We'll quickly check again with just our other players in case any of them have taken the lead. We have uh, Alex is caught as well. Yeah, very nice. Oh, as we speak, <laughs> nice <laughs> <That's> race <laughs> there. <laughs> Caster's curse. Caster's curse, man. So right now it's looking pretty good. Butte, on the other hand, now um, seems to have had the one lead of Yuning. He has not ripped. Um, yeah, um, again, it's the same spot where we saw um, Mu rip. Uh, didn't distract one of the workers and unfortunately got spoiled. Um, Danny's brought coins, so we're going to have to sniper with him to do the distraction shots. Um, should be able to make a pass pretty fine. Big whoosh, but yeah, he manages to deal with it pretty well. Yeah, very nice right now. Looks like Danny's also going for the nice seeker shot. Tinky hits it. Didn't see that hollow circle, but. I've no doubt Danny hit it. Actually going for fast. Santa Fortuna looks like for Danny. Oh, gets red guns. Compromised though. Yes, red compromised. Where? My one guess would be the Coco Welker field. Maybe uh, due to the one shot that well, missed. Yeah. Jorge actually alerted the guards before he got detonated. Yeah. Uh, cool, however, as well, getting ripped. Um, on my mean as well. Um, Papia, the seek shot onto Jorge. And we'll be getting it with that gas caster. Gets the kill when we run towards the exit. Ooh. That's going to be him moving on to Mumbai. Very nice from Papi. So yeah, again, we'll just quickly check in with our primary players. We have Mu, Seek, and Yanini moving on to Mumbai. So still holding on to that lead they seem to have. To be fair, Chuck not far behind after having two or three restarts on Hawks. Yeah. Hawks, but it's definitely a map that is definitely overlooked. Um Moo gonna be running towards a Langan to you know, shoot him down. Uh, I know Chuck was struggling with that kill slightly um, beforehand, so you know, if he, he gets it while we're still watching here, we will see if he's managed to uh, improvise with that. You need me. Uh, Moo even with a couple of strats. Gets a shot off onto Langan, and that will be him dying and him moving on to Wilson Creek. Yeah, no doubt for the King of Mumbai. That he'd hit that shot. Mm. That looks like an insane load for Moo. Don't know if that's just a stream. Refreshing, please. Right down to Whittleton. Uh, not far behind, though. See, getting another restart on Mumbai. Yanini, but halfway through. Chuck just waiting for Jorge to get into the foliage so he can hit that headshot. Oh, very nice first shot. And that's an exit. And we have a couple of rips and a 
few players halfway through the level, so we'll check with Alexei Anical, Danny, and Pappy. We have Alex and Sionical still on Santa, and Danny and Pappy on Mumbai. So not too far behind. Danny and Pappy about in sync right now. Is down. Yeah, that thing, you know, uh, well, when we when we last saw him, he was getting that kill on Sonoma Cassie. Does that seem to have that, you know, early lead? And if he's, if he's flawless throughout the rest of this thing, you know, we should see him take it. You know, not, as we saw with Chuck at the start of Force Bay, you know, they can, you can get one rip and that can lead to multiple, you know. So, uh, it can very easy to change uh, the outcome of this, indeed. Yeah, for sure. All it takes is a couple of rips or getting stuck in a level. As we saw with Chuck, who was honestly the favourite due to the... I think it was only one rip for Season 1. That gave him the 8 points last week. But yeah, Moo's actually storming through levels right now. Already on to scale. I think, to my knowledge, we only have yeah. Yanini on Whittleton. So, crazy lead for Moo. Yeah. It was Danny and... Um happier that were on um that opportunity was only level one so yeah you know Moo and Yuni do have the definite lead as at the moment I feel like um Moo just chin on Sigal roof um having fun I see these two guys before they walked in uh, to get a kill onto her Sophia no Zoe actually actually I always get mixed up with the two you know so hard to remember honestly and the worst part is, you know, Zoe is the target on like the top of the thing, but she's always like the one on like the lower floors, and it's always it always gets round my head like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice um, shandy so, yeah, shot. We'll and they're a nice shandy shot. So hopefully he gets this panic on the way to the helicopter and it should be free. Oh. Yeah, well we need however. Uh, we'll be escaping Wilton here now. Um, so yeah, Yunini is catching up with Moo as well. So, you know, if we see Moo have a late rip on New York, Yunini could actually take the lead here. Yeah, definitely. Even if Yunini gets second place, that's still five points, but mm. I think everybody would like that first place with those extra three points. We'll quickly check in on our other players. We actually have Danny on Whittleton, not far behind. Rico Delgado. Seemingly our third player right now. Seems like Alex and Zayonical are having a bit of trouble with Santa still. Definitely yeah, one of the Pappy toughest. Was, yeah, Pappy being on Mumbai has suggested that he has unfortunately had a couple of resets on there. Meanwhile, Danny is just storming through Whittleton right now. Uh, be locking down Janus um, and getting the headshot onto him, um, which you know has been pretty standard. I'm actually really far behind. Actually, don't listen to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he's going towards James Batty right now. Um, we'll check in with our leading players then. We'll stick with these for a while since they seem like they're going to be the first to finish. Yeah, Moo is absolutely running it through right now. Yunini, however, we just see him have a slight dim to go Stray has suggested from you know where where he is. Moo has two data discs as well, so all he needs is that kill on the Athena. And that will be him escaping New York with only Haven Island left. And I think to my knowledge, if Moo actually finishes New York and Haven without any resets, that's no resets for the whole run. I don't think we've seen any resets for Moo. No, we haven't. Uh, he was fine on Hawks. We might have missed a couple, maybe, but the 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 how far he was ahead has you know we can infer from that that he has you know not ripped. Um, we always check with him afterwards. Um, oh, he's actually going for apricot yeah. stairs. Oh, and gets it. <laughs> Very nice yeah, from Moo. Nice, nice, indeed. nice little time saver that is. That's him moving on to Haven Island. Um, nice lead he has here. 
Very, very nice. Yanini only 40 seconds into New York. Well, Mu's already pretty much loaded into it. I think the answer yeah. gives Mu maybe one or two resets. Think, yeah, as we can see in chat, it was it, it does seem to be unfortunately stuck on Miami and um, Mumbai even. Um, Chuck in the meantime is escaping it as well. Um, so I said, you know, it's very easy to get stuck in a map. Uh, you know, I, I know from my experiences in some races, you know, you can rip once on the map and you rip five more times before you even escape it. Um, but yeah, Moo gets that kill to Stephen Bradley. Um, I should see a pretty standard route from here on in, really. Yeah, as long as Moo hits these shots at the right time, he doesn't cause a lockdown. Should be a pretty free haven for him. Yanini seeming like they're gonna get their New York as well. Once they get that kill on the teen and their yellow guns, they're usually fine. Yeah, because of course you are gonna go to a little um, little private office to get the key card, which also conveniently has an account box in there as well. Um, so that it, it, it sh he is able to get green comes back. Oh, they actually do get a restart from Mu, but yeah. Like I said, I think he has. It doesn't look like one more reset in him since Yanini is just about to exit. Yeah, and if you know if Yanini was exiting a couple of seconds earlier, he could have pulled back and uh, and another rip from Moo could potentially see Yanini taking the lead. And if you have the flawless Haven, Haven will take the map. But you know Moo's been performing so well throughout; it's hard to see him rip twice on my map. And we finally see Seek getting out of the purgatory that was Mumbai yeah. for him. Yeah, so both him and Chuck are level in that sense. Moo again restarting on Haven. Um, so that is Janini slightly ahead. Down to the wire. Very close. First and second are definitely the biggest jumps for points. So it's going to be very close. Hopefully Janini doesn't have any rips. I don't think they can afford it. Moo's definitely going to correct whatever mistakes he made in the first two but going for similar strats anyway yeah they inject poison onto uh, Steven and these distraction shots here and um, we'll just get the kill onto Tyson and then the Miller afterwards you need big wow. rushes um should be fine just to run off here and hopefully get the counter the middle here. Not sure if it's stream delay on my end, but they are literally neck and neck on my screen right now. Yeah, they are indeed. Um, Zana cool. Uh, forfeit from the race. Uh, I don't know any reason behind that, but I hope everything is well for him. Oh wow, it's going to get very close. It looks like Mu has it though. Oh, Yanini missing Yanini all the shots. Through. Red guns. Three starts. So we have a finish from Mu. That's actually first place. Wow. Very unlucky yeah, for Yanini. Well, that's very unfortunate from Yanini. So close yet so far with that one Ella Miller thing. Uh, if, you know, if he gets that shot first time, he might have taken that. So it's literally bare seconds in shots that have separated them two uh, players. And I think Yanini, was he flaws up until that point as well? and just had slightly sort of strats or did we see a reset from him possibly? To my knowledge now I'm not sure but I, I, I'm fairly sure there was at least one rip. I think Mu was our only ripless player up until Haven to my knowledge. I'm sure someone in the chat. That's a, yeah, amazing from Mu there. Just when Yanini is getting halfway through there we'll quickly check in with our other four players in case they're catching up. So we do have the DNF from... Psionical. We have yeah, Danny and Pappy. Moving on to New York with Pappy as well, who's got the kill. Um, so, yeah, you know, neck and neck with these two players as well. So, yeah, you need he does seem to have that definite second place uh, lead. It's going to be Pappy and Danny uh, battling out for third place, it seems, you know, with Alex, Ch um, Chuck, and um, Seek being a little bit further behind. 
And by the looks of Yanini just at the end part of Haven right now. Mm -hmm. Will Yanini have some good aim on to the final target this time? Yeah, very nice shot. So yeah, that looks like second place for Yanini. Yeah, we have a confirmation from racetime.gg. Both sub twenties <laughs> from uh, him and Moose. So very, very nice runs indeed um, from the pair of them. <laughs> you can hear Yanini not very happy with that run in the audio, from what I could hear. <laughs> that one, that one <laughs> missed shot on um, Ludmilla could have proved costly for what then three points there. And yeah, it's still five points um, from Yanini though, so that does give him. That's yeah, slight edge in the leaderboard. Yeah, regardless of the resets, very amazing run by Yanini. Especially doing it live is never easy. We'll, we'll see, however, you know, we saw see, slightly struggle on Mumbai at slight beat, you know, but he's managed to get past that and he's flown onto New York here, um, you know, so very nice to see from Seek indeed um, how quickly he's managed to you know, clear that Mumbai out of his head and just move on so, so well. So yeah, Seek and Chuck pretty pretty fine in their comfort in the level right now, it seems. Don't expect any crazy resets from them. Yeah. I think we just had a finish. Yes, yeah, so we have Danny actually going to Haven, so... Yeah. Danny moving on to Haven here. Papi are not that far behind either. Um, I know, never mind, he's, he's died. <laughs> Don't listen to me. <laughs> um, yeah, still in New York. So um, Danny does have that lead going into that third place spot. You know, Papier and Chuck then do seem to be batting out for that um, fourth place spot. Well, we do actually have a third place finish from Tiesta for style points, but since Tiesta isn't um, uh, streaming, there's no points awarded to players who can't stream their attempts. Same happened last week, and that point just drips down to the next person. It is unfortunate. Uh, would have been nice to see his strategies, but yeah, just over 20 minutes. So yeah, um, very nice from Tesla indeed. Um, Danny, you know, got the guest kill onto Bradley, and we'll be doing the, these uh, nice little shots um, to, hope, <laughs> to hopefully get the you know, right kills on Tyson and Lumina here. Shots look pretty good on Danny's side. Yeah. Little whoosh getting out of that um, reception area. Um, so if he's able to get this limit done and the Titan kill, that will be him taking third place. Alex does seem to be unfortunately stuck on uh, Mumbai. Which is unfortunate. Uh, going for a slightly, you know, Shot that I certainly haven't seen is going for like a electrocution double kill, it seems, for the car battery. So, is he doing Brickler? My one thing, my one thing. Uh, or Danny gets the kills. Oh, oh. He gets red guns. Very unfortunate for Danny. Very unfortunate. Trying to see. I'm guessing that, yeah, he gets compromised. And we actually have Pappy yeah. moving on to Haven as well. So, similar to the first and second place. Danny and Pappy are kind of fighting for that turd right now. And also, you know, Seek on the other side as well might be on Haven as well. Um, so yeah, it's almost three oh, people wow. battling. But, uh... Yeah, all players very um quickly leveled out to the same level. Yeah. I will we'll stick on Danny and Pappy for now since we have two players on Haven. If Seek does finish before them, though, we'll get some confirmation from race time GG. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> yeah, we have three people in very similar areas here. It's getting very, very close. With Danny hitting those shots, looked pretty good. Little bush again on the way out.
<laughs> no worries, Ionicle. I bet. Um, leaving. We have Danny going for these final shots. Oh, Danny not getting it. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, it's not going to be Papiak and Seek. That and that, you know, Seek was struggling. Uh, on Mumbai, I felt be able to, he was able to correct that. Um, I do have him up. Oh, he gets red guns on the middle the kill though so yeah we have seen him restart as well and um, so yeah Papia is now in that lead for that third place spot here looks pretty good on Papi's end yeah it looks very good um, just wait yeah green guns on both kills so that should be him actually yep. confirmation he has finished yeah and that will hit, be him taking third place <laughs> yeah it's getting close here it um, really is yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love to see it's gone just about how all of them do for you, right? Five or six. Quickly. Right? Alex as well has got out of Mumbai, which is always good. Um, getting off onto there. Yeah, I, I just keep flicking between <laughs> between Seek and Danny here, and they're literally like almost level. Um, in a way, Danny does have that slight lead. Yeah, currently. Yeah. It's Tunes does seem to be on to Gale as well. Yeah, it's definitely a battle right now for fifth. It seems to be Seek and Danny, and then seventh, it seems, for Chuck and Alex. Chuck having a lot of troubles, it seems, with Scale. Seek trying to hit Danny that. Has, yeah, Danny has. Had confirmation in race. I'm not GG, so I assume that he's managed to get um, both the kills <laughs> with green guns, obviously. Um, so, yeah, that would be Danny uh, taking that poor spot. And I'll see, he's definitely in that lead uh, for Spiff with Chuck and Alex behind. Very nice from Danny. So, yeah, Alex seemingly on Whittleton. And Seek still restarting on Haven. Well, there should be a lot of flicking through things now. Um, so, yeah. Good to see uh, them still going there. Chuck. Looks pretty good for Chuck. Kills the distraction, so we should see him get out. Yeah, he gets green guns on Exodus, so we'll be him moving on to New York. Um, we have Seek going for these vital shots again onto Tyson. Yeah. Very unfortunate for Seek. I think Seek could have. Was it maybe third place could have grabbed if it was the first try? Haven? Yeah. That's how quickly these things can change. If you might, he he was in that lead uh, with Denny, and unfortunately they both they both ripped. Then Papia just came and swept that third place from the pair of them. Then of course Danny uh, taking that fourth place. Um, so yeah, Seek does seem to be in the lead um, of Chuck and Alex. Looking pretty good. Oh, seemingly a restart for Seek. Yeah, and I think he missed the briefcase throw slightly. Um, so yeah, this is where you know one can slightly just send you into a cause of panic, and you know that that does result in you unfortunately with more. Quickly checking. Got, yeah, you got a gun flash going to chat. Um, or when I when I say when I see the guard got a glimpse, and um, I'm assuming that is a. Gun flash which does put the target into lockdown. Um. So, yeah, right now it seems Seek on Haven, Chuck on New York, Alex on scale. So, unless there's some players getting really stuck in the level, that's probably going to be our last three position set, I think. Yeah, Alex seemed to get very unfortunately stuck. Come Mumbai when we're watching Danny and Papia. Um, 
Yeah, we saw that from uh, Seekers Bell. We got stuck on Mumbai, but he had a flawless Wilton, uh, Seagal and Wilton to be able to pull and, and uh, New York to be able to pull that back and you know challenge with Danny and Papia for that first spot, which is unfortunate not getting. Chuck getting, I think, a good New York. Yep. Yeah, yeah we good in that sense. Just needs to get everything done. In terms of getting the key card and the camera box, seek get in the shot. Oh, no. Ripping again. Very unfortunate for Seek. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Seek going back to uh, Miami. Miami. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You should have started to do the entire thing again. Uh, I was thinking that would um, thing uh, help him. You know, Chuck getting out of New York here. Um, so now he will be that main candidate for that fifth spot. It feels like uh, maybe Seek just going to the different map, just trying to like reset himself. Yeah, maybe, there must be some thought gets. process. Maybe it reset yeah. some ragdolls or some. AI or something. Yeah. Copium. <laughs> yeah. Or opium, wherever you, if, wherever you want to sniff in this situation. Uh, Chuck, you know, with that now indefinitely, we we'll see going to Miami and coming back. Um, yeah, very close. Oh, you see Chuck going for that crazy panic shot onto Ludmilla. Yeah, I'd like to see it, like to see it. Oh, a very different strat from Chuck. <laughs> a lot riskier, to my knowledge, though. As this shot can yeah, be a bit. Obviously worth the risk uh, if he's going for this right now. I mean, if he pulls it off, I respect that, you know, going, going for that thing. Obviously, you can see when people uh, finish, so, uh, you know, you're in that position, but yes, combat. So, yeah, we'll see him restart. Yeah, the risky strand not paying off for Danny. Or, not Danny, Chuck. Hopefully he realizes and goes for the safer one. Will this copium pay off for Seek after going back to Miami? Gun flashes? Yeah, if you yeah, if you you can gun click if you have like you know who to do a seeker, you can gun click under here. If you shoot with an empty gun, it will then cause um Ludmilla to hear it and come down. Um which is something it's a definitely a nice uh, thing to use if you know how to do it. Looks like seek rips again. Yeah, that's unlucky. Chuck, you know, gets a little kill off. Uh, if he can get this Tyson kill off here, you know, it's been a very impressive uh, haven for him. Oh, red guns for Seek. Yeah. Doing those final kills in reverse order, it seemed. Oh no, Chuck missing the Shandy shot as well. I, I like seeing it. He's missed strats. Alex, however, is on New York as well. Um, if you go what seems to be the similar strat, um, what we're doing, so you know, we could see three players you know, on one map at once. Yeah, we'll definitely. Check, definitely a nice different strat. With the rips that the players are doing, Alex actually, actually has a good chance of coming in and taking that official yeah. fifth place for some points. But yeah, Seek definitely seeming trapped a bit in Haven right now. Yeah, this is what we saw with him on um, Mumbai as well. So, you know, if, you know, if all it takes is one nice run and he will claim that fifth spot. Um, Chuck, however, still going this strat, which I like is seeing from him. Able to navigate around all the islands and things. So if we can get this shiny shot off here, um, which he does, wow. Very nice, Chuck. Very nice indeed. Yeah, you gotta love that strap. 
Yeah, that was the speed about Keys as well, so that will be him escaping, snatching that fifth spot from Seek. And yeah, we have that finished. Oh, and Julian literally eight seconds after. Yeah. Taking sixth place. And to my knowledge, Julian actually does, but since we had so many players, we only chose eight. But Julian was officially streaming, and literally again, we have Seek uh, finishing uh, seek, seek <laughs> 15 <laughs> seconds after Julian. Yeah, wow, well, yeah, just had a quick everyone taking it. Um, so yeah, just Alex left, who seems to be just coming out of New York now, you know, on the Haven Island. I'll quickly just but yeah, update. free finishes very quickly. Nice indeed. And Julian just snatches hatches them little points away from that one point from sleep. So yeah, Alex is going to Haven Island now. Um, which has been the death of a few ru nice runs, you know, see Chuck had very nice things leading up to Haven. Chuck with that different Haven strat, which I really enjoyed uh, seeing. Yeah, amazing strat. Lovely kill on to um, Tyson. That Chandy running shot is so nice. It's, a, it's beautiful to see, you know. And, you know, two running shots, one of them in to get that uh, drown or full kill onto her. Then, of course, full object Shandy snipe onto Tyson is amazing indeed. And it's just going to be Alex. And we'll see what he does with this. And we'll see after what we've seen. With all the other players, uh, Bar Chuck. Pretty good Haven right now from Alex. Different shot setup. Ooh. Not the greatest zoom in drag there. Pretty nice second shot, it seems. And now to the part where most players get a restart. There's Ludmilla, Allure, and then the shot into Tyson. Nice briefcase. Throws the cattle ball. Now will Tyson be isolated in the bathroom that he's sitting in? Looks pretty good. Get some stand up. Gets the snipe off. Ooh, gets spotted yeah, by that guard. Oh, that's unlucky. That's unlucky indeed from Alex. Since Alex's last oh, runner as well, we'll turn up his audio. Bon, Even, en même temps, c'est l'une des pires maps. Yeah, c'est le lovely French accent uh, of his. <laughs> Uh, Alex seemingly fighting his urge uh, as a Frenchman to forfeit right now. <laughs> but now, nonetheless, it's still an amazing run to finish all of season two in the time that yeah, the players have. They just got stuck, unfortunately, a couple of maps, and you know, we said one rip can lead to more rips, and that more rips can just like cause you to go into a flood of panic almost, and. Uh, Ça va être d'autres speedrunners qu'en fait on, on a établi le truc euh, pour savoir à peu près comment tirer et que ce soit... That's unfortunate what's happened to him, um, you know, he's of course still playing, which is the most important thing is when you finish, you finish. It's good on him for taking part in this. Yeah, very well played. It's, it's very easy to just see the leaderboard and be like, ah, I'll just leave, but yeah, well played to Alex. Nice throw there from Alex. Throws the cattle ball. And the moment of truth. There you get it. Gets the shot. Gets second shot. Doesn't get spotted. Oh. Oh. Gets trying to strike the guard. Try to wait a little bit more. Such a bitchy angle to get spotted on though. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. Very unlucky there from Alex. Yeah. 
les joies du speedrun aussi. Um, just when Alex is finishing up then, I'll hand over to you for a minute, Joker, and I'll update our leaderboard so we can give the chat a bit of an update. Uh, I'm not happy to uh, keep talking, I know if I'm funzy, he knows how long I can talk for. <laughs> I think I managed to go like one and a half minutes once, just plain talking about Berlin or something crazy. Um, so yeah, you know, if we go quickly, we had a move second first. Uh, with Uni close behind, unfortunately, with his Haven gets spoiled, and he could have snatched that uh, first place from me. Um, you know, we've seen Alex you know, continuing to play, uh, which is the most important thing here. Uh, you know, not as as a as an age old saying, you know, from you know when you were like six years old playing bloody footy. Um, you know, not that one's got taken part. <laughs> Ooh, which we have seen from Alex and you know, something quite nice. Yeah. Epic. Indeed. Um, yeah, gets a bit of whoosh, but you know, he should be I fine there. Uh, Count that. Hopefully, he manages to get these right shots right. off without getting spotted. Uh, gets yeah, one off. Alex gets two and misses a shot on Tyson, which might let down him. Gets spotted again by Ludgard. It's that same guard again. That's very unfortunate from him. He gets spotted by the same guard. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you go back to the positions, Papier then taking third, <laughs> Danny fourth, you know, seek, uh, seek Danny and Papier, you know, very close together going into Haven Island, you know, we had a couple of rips from Seek, and then one unfortunate one from Danny, which then gifted Papier that third place, and then, you know, Danny had a nice Haven run after that to give him fourth, and uh, we just continued, we unfortunately continued to see, uh, Seek, we started on, um, Haven, which allowed, Chuck and, then, you know, and Julian uh, to come back mm, and that makes take so much sense, actually. <laughs> fifth and sixth um, before well, Seek could take seventh. No, I know. Um, <laughs> you got this. Alex yeah. is, you know, we've seen I mean, nothing, nothing changed. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing really, really can change. No, it's just a hard thing to take against for like guard. Um, so we should just see the same thing from him. Still going for him, listen, you know. I, I don't think I've ever tried to play him, man. On a high level for 40 minutes straight, I can t I, 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 I can guess how hard uh, how hard it is. So you mean the Columna, like, Hopefully this time he gets Luminous Guard to, the, to do the right thing so he can get uh, all the shots and kills done without getting spotted. Pauses. Hopefully to give himself a nice little message. Has he got spotted? Possibly, don't use the Alex. And I think he messed up the kettle, kettle throw actually. Uh, he did hit one of the uh, wooden bell poles, probably up the bridge, um, which you know might have messed up the luminous guard slightly. Um, so that's unfortunate rip from him. Hopefully, we see him carry on playing because it would be nice to see him finish. I've put in so much effort throughout uh, this race. Comme dit, la est so, yeah, you know, get, get the standard uh, jab off onto Bradley. Uh, we could go with Chuck Strack right here there. Lockdown, um, sending Lud into lockdown from up here, you know, sniping her leg to give that full kill before panicking uh, Tyson and getting the kill onto him that way. Um, which is nice to see. And yeah, as a, you know, respect to Alex for going out, you know. Uh, yeah, some people won't have like you know the mentality to keep playing in this situation. Basically, you know, it's very like, high respect to him indeed for you know, well, playing it out and uh, carrying on in this hard time. Um, and that's been the story for Al, unfortunately, for Alex in the season two. I think it was uh, Mumbai yeah. was the other death map, unfortunately, where he just unfortunately uh, had that one rip, and that just uh, some kind of. Um, sent him into a multiple rips, when which we've seen uh, from many players. You know, it happened to see uh, uh, Seek as yeah, well um, on Mumbai. Brown. You know, Chuck as well on Hawks Bay with a couple okay. of missed trank shots, getting spotted um, by Orson as well. So yeah, hopefully uh, he can get off this time. Gets the first shot off. Oh no, it doesn't quite yet. Tyson not standing up. Can't do that now because maybe missing the shots. Ooh. Maybe get the loot kill now before you lose it. It's always here. One bit of advice. Does get Tyson to stand up. Gets an NTK. That is so unlucky, man. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, unlucky from Alex I indeed to get an NTK in that moment. Shots, just wow. The goal was in that, <laughs> I'm guessing that would have been... Sure he, he had a lot of shots the, before that, so I'm like guessing the, the, you know, the, the uh, his personal guard or the guard that stands outside on that balcony oh, potentially uh, got distracted by one of the shots, being my one guess to why you're an NTK there. <laughs> but yeah, that really does just sum up how Alex's game has gone. Uh, you know, that one MTK just really does summarize what unfortunately happened to Alex today. Yeah, hopefully we'll see, see him get, get it off this time. Um, and get everything correctly, hopefully no MTKs. I don't know, yes, Training, but I the mean, one plus I take away from that it, 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 it was would be and um, they did not get spotted by Luz Guard and um, compared <laughs> not, to his other runs. Training, but so hopefully a, everything goes correctly. The stars aligned for him for now um, and he's time. able to Wait, get both kills doing? off and um, running over to where he's been I unfortunately think? ripped so many times. <laughs> well, I love uh, the, the trilogy, yeah, so... The yeah, cowboy like throw, Luz Guard being an absolute twat, and as we just saw... Don't get me like this. Get an NTK, which is certainly a new new bit we've seen so far. I mean, there's very some all eight players. Listen, uh, most of the time, it has just been a miss throw so. or <laughs> get spotted doing yeah. the kill or ripped by the guard. Gets the kill off onto Tyson. Doesn't get a spot by Lud's guard, and he should be fine here to get. Oh, Lud Miller hasn't gone down. Play it out. She might, if she got locked down, she might have ran into the water then, so he could have possibly played that out. Um, but yeah, again, really unlucky for Malix there. Really unlucky, uh, indeed. Uh, and this Haven really has just summarized what's unfortunately happened, uh, as I just keep saying uh, to him. Very, very unlucky indeed. Um, but he's still going. That's the most important thing, you know. He's still, he's still going, and he is going to see this out. Uh, of course, I don't think there's any points to get here. But you know, still wants that, still wants that finish, and that you know, finish. Certainly not one for giving up, uh, which is very, very good to see. Uh, I am back as well. Just updating those scores. I think we have them already. I think. For the sake of yeah, the stream, we'll Saint give Berlin, Alex, I'd say, until the 50 minute mark. Yeah. Just to save him from the purgatory that is. Very I mean, tough map. Yeah, Haven's bad enough telling him once, <laughs> let alone as many times we've seen him uh, play it. This final part of Haven is definitely the, the stickler of the whole thing. Yeah, it has been his Achilles heel throughout. You know, hopefully he managed to get this time. Gets killed to Tyson. Okay. Luke Miller not walking down. A guard's up there, so he could be able to save us here. The Miller's gone down. He doesn't fall over, the stubborn twat. He's <laughs> not falling over. Ooh. I think Drone. he's Falls over. Red. Oh, Get um, gets the kill, oh. but it looked like Alex was shooting a bit too low there because no, the water is actually bulletproof from a certain angle. I, I, I don't oh, fucking know. Just Unlucky nice. indeed. Um, even missed a body shot on the yeah, I was thinking him taking one too many shots did put him uh, into compromise by the minute, then her guard as well, which uh, like kept red guns there. Uh, I was just off for like a fucking week. But yeah, hopefully Alex can pull this off soon enough. Definitely the weakest point of season two, it seems, for most players. Yeah. Because as we saw, move. Pitchable with you know the Miz guard. Yeah. Is Observer still streaming? By the way. I think move was. Even was ripless yeah, up until this point. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Haven was the one time he we saw two resets from Mu, if yeah, I remember correctly. So still, he can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> that nearly allowed Yunini to uh, catch up, but he himself then ripped on the hand this as well. But I don't think we've seen anyone go for us on this. So. Uh, just proving how, how hard Haven can be indeed. 
Yeah, that's uh, nice that's troll again from Alex. The, the yeah, I mean, I mean, move. Oh. Cat ball as well. Target top down. Oh, Get the gun. gun. Wow. Oh. Assuming yeah, that's well. lucky uh, indeed. Come on, Alex. The perseverance, though. Yeah. My PC would be shut down by now. Uh, I think Hitman would be uninstalled for me as well, <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I, yeah, you've got a, you've I don't think I'll, I'll install the game again probably, but just leave out Haven Island on the installation process, and determined indeed is what Alex, Alex I mean, is here, he really wants him to finish, um, really uh, uh, but yeah, we'll give Alex another minute or two just to settle this. Has his first, his first pair of Haven is definitely perfect for. Oh, did I jinx it? Did did we? He said something there, and um, I can't hear what he said. Hopefully, uh, something good. <laughs> Mean that he does not need to reset here and it should be a fine run. Allez. Cette fois-ci, c'est la bonne. Et c'est the one, guys. Ok. Nice throw, it seems. With the kettlebell as well. So, this could be. Uh, well, for us, at least, what we're going to see is one last shot of this. Um, whether or not he continues playing, it's completely up to him. And I think he will. Um, this is our first shot. Gets him to stand up a second time. Uh, he gets the kill off. And this is that double distraction shot Tyson to her Luminous Guard. Please. Hopefully now okay. he can yeah. get this kill off. Let's go. Shoots her. Yes. Let's go. Oh, I feel Three it. Guns. <laughs> <'est> bon. <laughs> Three guns. C'est bon. Exit. Yeah, should be. Alice. Very nice. With a Bye. fantastic no. perseverance here, <laughs> um, taking, Finally. taking Haven, and uh, taking Only uh, 20 um, minutes after everyone. <laughs> Ape spot here, the uh, Let's go. spirit Alex here, the, uh, continues to play on the spot, that really hard Haven, how he struggled on it. Yeah, Alex might not have won first place, but he won the yeah. award for perseverance in all of our hearts. Yeah, yeah. yeah very good job by Alex. And... Very good job finishing that run because, like I said, my computer would have been off. <laughs> uh, so we'll just quickly update everybody with the scores then, which I hope are correct. So after that, it seems that Moose, after taking the lead due to his yeah. good positioning in season one, so getting eight points today mixed with his four from last week, we have Chuck, who was actually our winner last week uh, with, and having 8 points but then due to the 5th place finish that got Chuck 2 points bringing him up to 10 we have Danny at 8 points after getting I think it was 3 today and 5 yeah, last week four. we have Pappy with 4 I think Pappy actually had 0 points season 1 I got those 4 today for finishing in 3rd place yeah you we mean have your second, so he's on two, so he should be above Papu, and if we're getting five points to come second. Uh, so just because he's <laughs> mentally, uh, for everyone watching, I think it's what you only need Papu around. I think if I, oh, I might be wrong here, but I think if it is five points to second place, you need would have overtaken here. But yeah, I think you're correct. So you need would will be taking um, that spot above Papu. Um, yeah. And then Alex actually managed to snag one point last week as well, and I think Julian actually snagged today's last place point i think it was six yeah. you get one point but yeah nice turnaround from moo and chuck definitely expected a, um a good finish from chuck to get up to nearly 13 14 points even with a third or fourth yeah and a lot and this this go, going into season three next week we does put a lot to play for especially with danny um chuck and moo you know being four points between top and uh, first and third here, um, with two respectively between the pe uh, between the three of them, um, will make it very very nice going into season three. You know, if we can just see you know, Danny winning 
who come in third and you know Chuck come in second will really cool all that out going into the trilogy run. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the the details aren't fully confirmed, but for the trilogy, we're still not sure if the point system will be standard since it's a longer run. They might be altered, yeah. so that might even give players a bit of a chance to gain back that Catch lead. Up. Yeah, so even players like Yanini and Papi could come back if they have a good. Yeah. But yeah, amazing runs for everyone. A lot of rips on a lot of maps, but nonetheless, some really good running. And yeah, thank you, Alex, for that raid as well. <laughs> yeah, allies, we will continue to say again. You know, I don't think many people today could have you know, played Halo for that long. How many rips you had, you know, how you played on and didn't lose your head. It's, it's a, well played to you, Alex. Well played, man. Yeah, very good job. That perseverance paid off for season one for definite yeah. getting that one point. But yeah, if for anybody wanting to catch season three, it's same time next week, and then the week after that we'll have trilogy with the same players hopefully. And if anybody wants to join but wasn't able to for this one, the points reset every month, so we'll go back to season one uh, once trilogy is completed. So if you're planning on asking about anybody to join or want to join yourself, that would be the time as you would be at a bit of a disadvantage if you joined midway through. But yeah, again, amazing runs. And just to answer Zebulos, yeah, it'll be happening monthly. So we have two more weeks, season three trilogy, and then we'll reset again, and it'll be the exact same scheme 